Hi boys and girls, we're going to spend today with a friend of mine, Rona, the Red Squirrel. The Red Squirrel is Scotland's only native squirrel and it's so special. It's one of Scotland's big five. The Red Squirrel, the Red Deer, the Harbour Seal, the Golden Eagle and the Otter. Sadly, the numbers have been in decline since the introduction of the grey squirrel in the 1950s. The red squirrel does have some predators. Pine martens, cats, stoats, owls, buzzards, foxes and dogs. In North mythology, the ratatosk was a red squirrel who carried messages up and down the world tree, which was a giant ash tree, Yggdrasil. The red squirrel has a lifespan of around six to seven years in the wild. The feet of the squirrel is really important to it. They've got these brilliant claws, sharp ones, that help them to climb really well up the trees. They've got their little front paws, which are highly dexterous, meaning they can manipulate things that are really small, really well. They've also got these special joints in their back feet, and that allows them to be able to run as fast up the tree as they are back down. Just like us, they've got four fingers and a thumb on each little paw. Rona's been busy in the wood collecting some sticks or twigs to make her little dray. That's the name we give to the home of the squirrel. Let's find out a bit more about the dray now. The dray is like a dense ball of woven together twigs around the size of a football and is often lined with moss, leaves, grass or pine needles. It's usually found in a fork of a branch tight against the tree trunk around two thirds of the way up the tree. Squirrels usually have more than one dray and many have been observed moving their little kittens from one to the other. A daddy squirrel is called a boar, a mummy squirrel is called a sow and a little baby squirrel is called a kitten. The main diet of a red squirrel includes seeds, nuts and berries, but they also could eat fungi, plant shoots, bulbs, flowers, insects and even birds' eggs. Squirrels often bury surplus food in underground stores. They don't hibernate. In fact, they survive during the winter by napping and snacking. Red squirrels are around 20 centimetres long with a 20 centimetre tail. They have these cool tufts on their ears which can actually reach up to three centimetres high. They have this cool tail, long and bushy, and this has got several reasons. One, it can help balance when they're running and jumping between branches. Two, it keeps them warm on a cold night. And three, it's used as a signal tool to warn other squirrels of potential dangers. And finally, they love swimming, so they tend to use their tail as a rudder to help them while they are swimming. Obviously, the main habitat for squirrels is woodlands, where they've got a great food source, They've got trees which they can climb in order to keep safe, high off the ground. They can move around the trees really easily. The farm here makes the perfect habitat for red squirrels. They not only have the woodland and the lovely grass verges below, but they've also got the river which runs right through the farm 
This is a great place for squirrels. Aren't squirrels such really cool creatures? I'm so glad we've had the chance to spend the day with Rona. Do you think you could have a look and see what else you can find out about red squirrels? I'd love to see what you find out. Rona and I thought we'd leave you with some of her family pictures to enjoy. These were taken not far from the farm here. Bye for now boys and girls.